Hi, I'm Pastor Tim Gauger of Christ Our Savior Lutheran Church in Rockford, Michigan, and this is your Coscast for Tuesday, August 11th, 2011. As you might recall, Tuesdays and Thursdays of our Coscast are dedicated to the psalm that would have been scheduled for the previous Sunday's worship. That means that today and Thursday we're going to be talking about the acrostic poem we know as Psalm 119. You might know Psalm 119 for its 105th verse, Thy word is a lamp to my feet, a light unto my path. Uh, but in the, or on the pages of scripture, I mentioned it's an acrostic poem. And that means that uh, each verse uh, begins with a specific letter of the alphabet. So, so there are 176 verses in Psalm 119, and these verses are arranged in 22 stanzas each corresponding to a letter of the Hebrew alphabet. So the stanza we're going to look at, uh, for instance, has eight verses. And that means, since it's an acrostic poem, that each verse, each of those eight verses, starts with a word that begins with the same letter. Uh, the letter that uh, they'll all begin with is the Hebrew letter, ha. <laughs> uh, that's really a letter. Uh, and uh, obviously, uh, this acrostic nature of Psalm 119 uh, is lost in translation. Our interest, though, is not the structure of the poem, uh, but really its message. Uh, Psalm 119 is an extended devotion on the Word of God. And this is uh, appropriate given what we heard last week when Jesus told us at the end of Sunday's Gospel that a faithful teacher of God's Word is able to bring out of it old treasures as well as new for people. And you and I experienced this uh, as we heard the Gospel and, and learned uh, maybe to look at God's Word a little bit differently. Uh, what, what is happening there is, is, is we're being taught. Uh, God is instructing us and it's leading us to uh, uh, understand Him better, uh, listen to Him more closely, love him more devotely, uh, and, and, and just in general, have our faiths grow. That's what the Word of God does. Uh, it's a busy corner here, as you can tell. Um, uh, faith comes from hearing the message, and the message is heard through the Word of Christ. Uh, that's the prayer from the New Testament in the book of Romans. Psalm 119 uh, is an elaboration on it. So this morning we'll hear the first part of uh, stanza, He. We'll hear verses 33 through 35. Teach me, Lord, the way of your decrees, that I may follow it to the end. Give me understanding so that I may keep your law and obey it with all my heart. Direct me in the path of your commands, for there I find delight. We pray, O Lord, your word is useful for teaching, for reproof, for correction and for training in righteousness. Guide our footsteps by your word so that we may remain steadfast in faith, may love you with all our hearts and our neighbors as ourselves. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, amen. God bless your day.